Hi everybody, this is Blackout Hong Kong, an Alexander Fister game that came out in 2018 and I haven't played since 2019 and we're halfway through 2023 at the moment. And this game sticks in my mind because I thought the system was so, so well put together. There was something about this game that it, it, I literally haven't played it since 2019, so it's been over, like, well, just about four years probably since I've played it. And I constantly think about it because I keep thinking, boy, how slick that is that you do this thing and that thing happens. And everything just pulls a lever for something else. And so I just wanted to play this now um, as maybe just a one-off, just something to play. I don't know if it's worth playing through the whole campaign or whatever. I've had a cold. I've been sick all week long, so you might still hear me being a little nasally today. Um, but I, I, I really wanted to play something, and I thought, why not play something that just doesn't get talked about anymore? When this game came out, what was that? What did I say? 2018? Yeah, here's the Board Game Geek page for it. We can take a look and see what... Uh, uh, you know, the people thought of it here. 7.5 rating. I don't think that's bad, but you know, these days where if it's uh, in the sevens, it's utter garbage. Eight is probably okay. Nines are, hey, you should probably buy this. You know, <laughs> that's just the way people rate things these days. It's kind of sad. Um, but look at the weight of this game on the right over there, the, the complexity rating, right? This game is no slouch. It is very difficult to wrap your head around at first. It re and I still don't know. And I've probably played this game a dozen times. It is a lot of fun though. I really do like the way all the systems interact with, with each other, which is kind of really just saying, yeah, I like Alexander Pfister games. That is how I feel um, about his games. They're, they're, to me, they're fantastic. I love the design. Uh, so one thing that people didn't love about the design of this game was how it looks. We got a lot of people complaining about the theme of the board here, right? Like how it's black and... This is the first edition here, so if you were to find this now in a store, chances are it's going to be the second edition. Things are much grayer and whiter now. This is uh, first edition here. I don't have any upgrades to it, I don't think. I think the only thing I changed here, as far as I can tell, is these are my Clank 5 coins. And it's because in the first edition of Blackout Hong Kong, the fives look exactly like this, except for they have a five on them, and they're about this size. So let's just put one of these on there. Let's see, can you... <laughs> Imagine, right? You, it would never work with this setup. So I'm going to use these for five, these for ones. And if you look really closely, you can see there's a one on there, but it's not going to work for the overhead. So I think it'll be just easier if we use these clank fives. Now, I'm not going to get into the rules or any of that. I just don't have it in me. I'm riding a high from some Theraflu that I just downed that's going to get me through this video. <laughs> so we're just going to hope that you know how to play. I'll do some explaining as I go, but I want to let you know the setup is all done. Um, everything here except for setting out the market. I'm just going to cover that really quickly so we can see, you know, just what the, like a random setup looks like. Um, and I did want to touch on the way this looks. Again, I love that it's all black and dark like this, and I don't have color blindness of any sort or anything like that, right? I'm not blind or, you know, have, have vision issues or anything. So none of this does bother me, and I know it bothers a lot of people, so you might not be able to make some things out on the board, especially things like this, where, you know, this is a yellow circle, that's a blue circle, that's a purple circle, that's a red circle, right? So in the second edition, they updated the graphics of um, the cards, the boards, the player boards. Um, I actually think I would love, if I could find, like, a brand new one sitting on a shelf somewhere for 20 bucks, I would buy the second edition and probably take the cards and the player board from it, and the coins from it. I think I would keep this board, I would keep these tokens as well. The search tokens, I think, are fantastic being black, and even better, if you take a Sharpie to the edge of them and black them out some more, it looks even better on the board here, because you're, you know, you're not looking from overhead like you are now. When you're playing, you're looking at an angle, and you just see cardboard slits everywhere, but when they're black, they just blend in these little search tokens. It's pretty awesome. So let's uh, let's see here. So we have a 12 cards that you start the game with. Two of those cards start in the hospital, right? Oh, I wanted to show the, the thing real quick here. Let me pull up the... That's what the second edition looks like, right? So you can see the coins were changed. The board is really bright now, and it has, you know, kind of vibrant colors on it now. The player board, I think, looks better only because they put the checkmark actions across the top, which makes way more sense to me. Um, and the cards, I don't know. Jury's out on those. I'd have to see them. And... The other thing that really hurt this game, I feel like, is that when they released the first uh, printing, and I don't even know if they did a second print of the second edition, um, there were misprinted cards. So you had starting cards that were bad, and a lot of people couldn't get their hands on the on the fixed cards. And you know, Asmo Day USA's policy, you know, North America's policy is your problem, not ours. So unfortunately, you know, a lot of people got you know kind of screwed on that. So. You do, of your 12 cards, start with a leader, says right here across the side, and one card that does give you two resources, 
they start in the hospital. And since the hospital belongs to the right over here, there's a little, you can see a little cross over here, and this is, there's little crosses along the edge here. I'm gonna tuck this off to the side just because of the shape of the board here and the way the camera works. And I'm gonna use this as my hospital. Just put these up top here. So that's what that little red cross is doing up there. Um, then you do have to start your setting played cards, you, a yellow one and then a red and a blue one in the same group. It doesn't matter which group, but as long as the yellow is by itself and these two are together, yes, the game uses dice in a brilliant way. It's a lot of fun. And so some different things for the solo game here. Uh, does it say uh, score at least as many points as needed to earn two orchid trees? Those are little flower symbols they have there. So we're going to play this as a solo game. And the way they do that is they have five chapters. And here's the amazing story for chapter one. People gather on the streets. As there is still no electric power in Hong Kong anymore, it becomes increasingly difficult to live as usual. Okay, so we've modified the setup as they have told us. In a, in a one-player game, 33 cards are taken out of the 72-card deck and put in the reserve. So, so there's 33 cards in this like second pile back here, just in case we need to draw some cards from that pile. Then it says in a one to two player game, use emergency plan A. So I've got emergency plan A here. Normally you would dish these out to the players as A, B, C, and D. So we are going to play plan A. That is the only thing that can occupy that spot. And technically in the campaign, they're supposed to sit in the middle of the table so that everybody can use them. But it's just us here and it's nice that it's off to the side so that I can kind of keep an eye on it and not have to take up table space. Then there are these eight cards. I think there's eight, two, four, six, eight. There's these eight cards and they're all the double resource cards. You can see here they have two cubes up in the left-hand corner, right? These are the starting cards. You'll see there's a little tiny S on them in the bottom down there. And all you have to do here is shuffle these up and then go ahead and deal yourself two of them, right? So every player would start the game with two of these and they are just random. They are, they are just to seed your objectives at the start of the game. So you have A, something to work for, and B, uh, you know, cards you can purchase that aren't super expensive, right? You'll notice that it only costs one of two different resources to go ahead and buy this card here. So for example here, let's go ahead and take a look at this card. This is one water and one tool. That's all we need, right? That's fairly inexpensive to get that card early. So that leaves us the rest of our 12 cards minus these three and those two. We have seven cards here. And you can see these are a lot less good. They are a single resource card. And really, that's all we need to do to start the game. We do have a couple of specialists in here, like the mechanic and a scout, and of course, the doctor. You can't live without the doctor. She is going to get people out of your hospital for you, which is a great way to score double points. So, oops, this was supposed to be up at zero. This is so you start the game with uh, um, one battery, four Hong Kong dollars, five transport tokens, and then the very last stage of setup, let me see if it's on here somewhere. Player cubes, initial battery, no, let's see here. Player board, emergency plan, starting player. See, the last part is part 18 of setup. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's, it's not. I mean, it's put the board out is a section. You know, put the, the resources out is another whole section here. So it's not that hard. Uh, it, uh, it, anyway, part 18 is determine starting player order. It's just us. But this is gone. This is something that you do last. And why that's important is because you're going to want to look at these two cards that you were dealt. Um, and then, you know, plan accordingly, right? So we know our goal, if we look back here at this also, so win conditions. So we have to have 75 points or more to get two of the little orchid tree symbols, okay? And the other thing is have a cube on each goal of one emergency plan. So in a three and four player campaign game, there would be two of these. Here, there's just this one. The only one we have to worry about is A, and we have to do all three of those things and score 75 points to win scenario one. So scenario, uh, or emergency card A uh, says, we have to have a trail from A to A, right? So you'll see an A up here. So that means I need a cube here, 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 and there. There's the other A. Or, you know, any any way to connect A to A. This is like a supply route, right, to kind of help people out in the darkness here. I also need to have played cards, purple, blue, and then two yellows in any one column. They don't have to be in that order. They just have to exist in the same column. And then I also need to find search tokens, which are these things out here. There's three per zone. I've just stacked them up so nicely you can't tell. Um, and I need one that is for victory points, and it looks like one for gasoline. That is really small. That's a gasoline can right there, and that's a victory port point symbol right there. So the other thing that you need to take note of when you're playing solo is that you do not get 
to do the completion bonus for the emergency plans, right? These basically stay in play forever. Um, once you complete the three, that is the goal. You do not get to take this as a check mark action, and you do not get to do the uh, action down here, the completion bonus on the bottom, which if you know what I'm saying, great, you know how to play. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's not something that we're going to use here at all in solo. So the last thing to do before we're ready to go is to set up the market, and this is just, you know, random cards, Whatever comes out, comes out. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you know how to play. If not, maybe it intrigues you enough to take a look at this game. It's not everybody's cup of tea, that is for sure. This game is one that I suspect will never, ever, ever get a reprint. Um, you know what, and I forgot, I put these tokens out here because I wanted to make a point, and I, I mentioned it here in the solo play where it says, add the following rule to phase five, new objectives. If you don't buy a card, remove the rightmost card of the top row. So I just wanted to put this little red marker Right, so that's the card that goes away if I don't buy it, and that happens right here on section five when you're buying new objectives, right? So that said, we're ready to start. So what do we have here? We have, see how great this card is? This one gives you three resource cubes. However, it's very expensive. I don't have any of those. I don't have six resources. So unfortunately, there's very few cards in the game that are three like that. So it makes that, that really appealing to try to get now. However, your resources change every turn. Watch. So uh, the other great thing is using this little purple cylinder here to go through the phases. There are eight phases. Phase one, roll resource dice. Let's do that now. Okay, and then one thing to note is you can't have two of the same face. So if I rolled two med kits, I'd have to re-roll the two med kit dice until I had three dice that were unique. So we have a gas can, a med kit, and a bowl of food. All right, well, um, and I... I chose my starting location to go on B because I have this one reward is place on blue and that one's place on yellow. So there's a yellow right there and a blue right there so I can spread out immediately because when you're placing cubes, um, you want them to be adjacent to something you already have. They don't have to be. You could spend um, transport tokens to do so. So let's see here. Now we know that we need, oh man, of course, and they're all different. So we need, we need everything, right? We need water, med kits, food. Now, the two that did roll were food and uh, medkit up here, and this guy is food and medkit. So we could potentially get the blue guy out this turn fairly easily by playing a red card here. And also, you're supposed to play these like face down, you know, as you play the cards. I'm not going to do that when it's just me sitting here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark them that I know I've put a card there, and then I'm going to remove the little token when I know that I have activated the card, right? So I'm gonna put a token on this guy, a token on this guy, and then we still have one more slot to play a card. We don't have our fourth slot unlocked just yet. So let's see, what is yellow? Yellow's gas, maybe what I wanna do is something like this. If I put red in its own little group, which is kind of a bummer, because it'd be great to have there too, but I can put a red there later, right? Um, we also need a purple, a blue, and two yellows in the same group. Oh, man. Well, that'll happen sometime later in the game, that's for sure. So we have a blue and a red, so we've already made the two requirements. So we know this is taken care of. We don't have a tool, and we don't have a water rolled. We could use a transport token and play a yellow, and then say we use one transport token to go one way. You could use two transport tokens to go one, two, or three to go one, two, three, if you want, if those are the only cards you have. So... I don't know if that's worth it, and having gas on hand is not going to be a bad thing. We also could use, gosh, I actually kind of want it to be a tool, though. So let's do that. Let's put this yellow here, and I'm going to say, well, we don't know what's going to happen next turn, so you know what? It's not going to hurt to have gas, but what I'm looking at is, well, yeah, we'll use the gas next turn. Okay, so what happens after this? This is roll resource dice and plan cards. We move to phase two, deploy volunteers and specialists. Deploy means activate our dudes that we picked, right? So we have a yellow card here, right? I'm going to put a cube on the yellow one. I activated this guy, the blue one, and the red one. So that's it. These are the resources we now have. We have a wild, that's the battery in the center. We have gas med kit and food that's it for phase two is just activate the guys that you played phase three objectives complete goals your goals are here the cards that you buy you can never have more than three this is just like an extra thing and then this little guy here and this little guy here this is unlocking a fourth card spot and then this up here allows us in phase eight to take cards back from the pile if we have zero to six cards in hand as opposed to zero to four cards in hand which is they also both award you 10 victory points, which is great as well. Um, but not going to be a first turn type of thing. So what do we have here? We can do objectives, complete goals. Well, we have a med kit for that, and we have a food for that. Great. We did it. So now we have this guy. 
Let's take them into our hand and see what it says here, right? So it says, once we pay the cost, take them into your hand and put a cube on a blue spot. Well, we need to connect A to A, so perhaps we go this way and we'll put one on that blue spot right there. This guy goes into our hand, and what do we have? We have a gas can that'll just sit there, I guess, because we have nothing else that we can do with that. Now, we completed no other objectives here, so we'll move up to the scout phase. Now, this is the one thing in the game that is just a little bit of work. So, what we have is scout one tile from a district that you have a cube adjacent to, right? So I could pick up this tile set and look, this tile set, this tile set, this one, this one, or this one, and take a look and see what is there. Now, in a multiplayer game, you are supposed to pick them up and look at them, and then just maybe write yourself a note or kind of remind yourself that, like, hey, this is the pile I want, and if I don't want to do anything about it this turn, you would put them back face down so nobody else at the table knows what it is. Since it's just you and me here, I'm not going to write down little notes. We're just going to leave them face up. So I know that we just scouted this area. And here, let's take a look at these a little bit closer so we can see what they what they have on them here, right? So we have five search tokens, right, for this. This is basically um, the simple look. This is five. This is the advanced search, which is ten. Well, we don't have ten search icons between our cards. We have four. If we look at our cards, that's a search icon. So we have one, two, three, four. The doctor cannot be part of a search group. So we can't do any of these, right? One thing that you could do is do a probe. I wonder if I have this anywhere. I don't think I do. But basically, we could pick, well, in this case, any one of them. They're all the lowest. <laughs> so we could take one and probe and take it as a search reward. But the risk of doing so, you know, you send a search party in, right? Our cards is your search party. These are volunteers and specialists. And they go in to search the area, right? And somebody gets hurt and winds up in the hospital. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to lose any of these cards except for perhaps this guy. And I think that's going to come in handy anyway here in a minute. It. So I don't think we're going to search, but we, we should always look because part of our thing is that we have to find, um, did I get one? Yes, right. We have to find this. We have to find and acquire that one. That's a victory point reward. So that's that's part, you know, that's, that's one part of two parts of our emergency plan. Then we need to find the one that awards gas. So great first move actually to find out that's there, but we're not going to do anything about it. New objectives phase, phase five. This is where we get to buy cards. If there's three cards in a row and you take one, it costs four. If you have only two cards in a row and you take one, that card costs you three. And if there's only one card, it costs you two Hong Kong dollars. So do I want, and yes, I do, I'm going to want a card to fill in these slots here. And boy, do I love this card. The problem is, is it's really early in the game. And I think that maybe we should start a little bit easier. And in fact, this card here matches this card here, meaning it might be a little bit easier for us to get two of a kind of resources now that we have one card that can get two of one kind of resources. So perhaps I'm going to spend four points, four, dollar, four Hong Kong dollars on that. So now we have that card. Uh, that we then have to earn. Okay, so we also did buy a card, so we don't have to remember to trash this card. However, during cleanup phase, phase six, any food and water goes away, they are sold, and then we can discard a card here if we want. Well, we don't want to. And then we have to discard the rightmost card of each card on the display, which is a huge bummer that we lost that triple card. Okay, but this is the game's timer. That's why we have cards set here and then some set aside. When this deck runs out, that's going to trigger the, the, the end of the round, the end of the game, essentially, right? Which is finish out that round and play one more round. So this moves us up to secure districts phase, which says if you have surrounded an entire district with your cubes, we can score it so that hasn't happened. And then refresh our hand and carry out any checkmark actions that we may have. We are not allowed to refresh our hand unless we have zero to four cards in our hand, and we happen to have five. So we can't even do that back down to phase one, and that's the game. It should get a lot faster from here because I'm not going to explain them so well. All right, so in depth. All right, well, we did get different things again, which is really good. We have some food, some water, and tools this time. Hey, that works out well. Now, since we know we're going to take our hand back at the end of, of, of this round, we need to really think about what cards, in what order we're putting them out there. If we put this one here, we then have two reds and two blues in one row, and this is two reds and two, two blues in one row, but it also requires us to spend four of one resource, which is a huge ask for this early in the game. So this doesn't strike me as a great move. I think our best bet is to take a look and see if there's any way possible that we can get ourselves, dang, 
out of this little hole we have here. There's not. Uh, <laughs> there's no way to really, because our yellows are used, I can't get water for cheap, right? Uh, so we have a blue card here. And looking at the blue card, I'm going to put it right here. The reason I'm going to put the blue card with the two yellows is one of our requirements is two yellows, a blue, and a purple. So I need to remember to play a purple here next time. Somehow I have to remember that. Maybe I can put a purple card down here just, just off screen so that I'll remember. Then uh, we, need to, we don't have to, but we should fill these two other spots here. Now, one of the spots, uh, this is going to go away, and I would love to have this guy back later. That's going to give us two tools. Okay, and then this one is going to capitalize on that tool here, right? We're going to use that. So the question is, am I doing everything I want for a successful turn? I think so. We're not going to have any food this turn, which means we're going to be very poor. So what's going to happen now is we go to phase two, deploy our volunteers. So two blues. We got two tools. We've got the... This one over here, the mechanic. So the mechanic says, oh, that's right, I forgot. We're not going to be super broke. $3, and then I can spend a tool to gain three more dollars one time. Well, we have two tools. Why not? So let's spend one of our tools, gain three more dollars. Right, but I'm trying to get to 10. So, <laughs> so six bucks is not quite cutting it. And then we have this guy. So this guy here, this is our scout. You'll notice the scout has two different lines of things. So one of them is gain $2, which is great, right? That gets us a little bit closer to our goal. And then actually, when I look at this, three, four, eight, ooh boy, yeah, we were close. Okay. And then it says I can spend a gasoline or a book to gain a search token. Well, guess what? We have a gasoline left over from last round. So we're going to spend this resource to gain a search token, which during a search action, right, when you're using your cards, you have to commit at least one card to the search, but you could also throw away tokens. So essentially, this could be a four search action, and we could almost take one of these fives out here, right? Oh boy, I shouldn't have cut my nails. It's hard to pick these cards up. <laughs> there we go. All right, so where were you at? You were in the middle here. Okay, so we still have our search token. I'm going to keep that over here. Uh, these are things we must have paid for. So that was it for deploy volunteers and specialists. We have to move up to complete any objectives. Now this is a bummer this turn because we have one tool no water. Unfortunately, both of these guys require tools and water. Did we meet this requirement of a purple, a blue, and two yellows? No, we did not. Did we chain A to A? No, we did not. Do we have you know, the, 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 the victory points and the gasoline search tokens? No, we do not. So we can't complete a single objective, right? We don't have two reds and a blue. Well, yeah, no, we don't have two reds and a blue and four the same, and we don't have two purples and two yellows and ten 10 Hong Kong dollars either, so we're out. So we move on with no objectives complete to the scouting phase. Now we need to keep looking because we keep having, we, we, we must find where the gasoline is because we have to find that as well. So we're just gonna take another stack and here's a gasoline. Now, it's not a miracle I found it on the first two. There's only seven different kinds, right? So there's, there's I think it's med kits, books, tools, gas, batteries and victory points are the only ones that you can find, right? So it's, it's and, and, and each one of these has three. So of the seven, you're going to find them pretty quickly and it's not impossible. And in a multiplayer game, you know, some of you might be trying to compete for those things. All right, now there are also bonus points at the end of the game for different ones you have based on this chart here, as well as for surrounding districts. You get bonus points based on this right here, which is pretty awesome too. So our scouting was successful, and we can still choose now to scout in this zone. Since this is the zone we scouted this time, we can't scout here because we didn't pick it again. We picked this zone. Well, we only have one card and three, so we have a four. So we really, really shouldn't do anything. However, you know, let's do this just for the sake of it, I guess, right? So one of the options... Am I going to take my search guy back right away? I am. So one of the options that you can do in this game is the probe. So when you take a look at this stack, well, I can't afford a six, a six, or an eight. I only have four, right? I have three and four. Well, you can do a probe. And what the probe is, is it says you must take the lowest one. Well, there's two sixes there. Oh my goodness, I cannot get these cards up. So, come on. You must take the, uh, the lowest one. So we have two sixes. So let's just take this one, and you can commit four search to it, to take to claim it, but you do not claim it as the simple or advanced search. You flip it over and you claim it as another permanent search token, right? Now, 
That means that goes away, and normally what you would do is shuffle up your cards. Randomly, one of your persons gets injured, and they wind up in the hospital. So that guy is out and in the hospital, and we need the doctor to come save them. And, you know, the doctor cannot do search actions, because this is literally the only way you can get somebody out of the hospital. So the game forbids you from, from using the doctor in, in searches, right? So so basically, our, our team of volunteers and specialists searched this area. They kind of probed in a little bit you know, feeling through the rubble and whatnot, you know, maybe there's people here, maybe there's supplies here, and we found, we, 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 we didn't find any goods, but we increased our knowledge on searching, right, and so now we have a permanent plus one search token, right, that's fantastic. All right, well, that's scouting, we move on to new objectives, we have all kinds of money here, and I really, you want to di diversify your cube colors a lot, and of course we drew poorly here and have two yellows here, so... One of the things that we can do, man, we need a lot of tools. We need a ton of tools, and everything I look at is tools. I like this guy up on the top here, right? This guy up here on the top is a thug. It's going to cost me three Hong Kong dollars for the thug, so I'm going to buy the thug. So one of the cool graphics I have here, boom, is from the manual. If you look at the thug, where is it? Right there. Pay three or four Hong Kong. It's like right by my shoulder to take three resources of one type. How great is that? If we can get some money coming in, we can use this guy to get whatever we need, right? Uh, you know, a good good pile of it. All right, so that's it for new objectives. We move on to the cleanup phase. We don't have any food or water that's gonna rot for us. Oh, you know what? Here I am doing all this talking and I forgot we have a wild card. I do have a wild, so you know what? Let's do this. We have a, we're gonna use the wild for water and we're gonna use the the, the, the tool for a yellow. Why not? I forgot all about that. And of course, putting her in my hand gives me a yellow spot, which we'll put there. Didn't change anything except for I can I can still buy cards. Uh, we didn't really quite get to the cleanup phase yet, so I could buy another card. There's no limit to how many you could buy. Interesting. But I really want to keep my money. So we go to uh, um, the end part of the cleanup phase, which is discard the rightmost card of each row. So what happens in this case when they're empty, this is when you peel off three cards to fill up the market row. This is where the timer just ticked down really quickly. Now the good news is, look at that, that's a three cube. That's really good. Uh, that one's gonna survive for a while. Hopefully we can get to a point where we have a comfortable amount of gasoline and med kits though. All right, cleanup is done. Secure districts, we've got nothing. Cards, we only have two cards, so we're zero to four cards. We are allowed to pick up the largest stack we have now. So that's the middle stack right here. We're going to take these back into our hand. We can also carry out any checkmark actions, but we don't have any yet. Those are these that we earn when we secure whole districts. They're not my primary concern right now. You could earn them from something like this too. Like here's one here where doing a checkmark action, gain $2 uh, or spend $2 to buy one battery, right? So that's a checkmark action that we don't have. Each of these are checkmark actions you can unlock. Um, and then this one is basically out of this game because you do not get to have that as a checkmark action in the campaign. So here we are. We're back to round or phase one. We have absolutely no resources. Yikes. All right, let's see what we can do here. We have... Tools, food, and water. That's a that's a good mix because don't we need water? Well, now we need everything because we, we got rid of at least one of our people here that required tools. So tools are not such an important thing anymore, right? No, but what I do want is gas or books, and we didn't roll gas or books because I want to keep searching. I need to get my hands on search tokens, so maybe this is not the round to do it. Wow, and all these guys are different. Boy, howdy, what do I do? So one of the things that happens in the cleanup phase is... Water, uh, food turns into two gold. Every food turns into two gold no matter what. And then water, you can choose to separate how you want. So let's say I had three water. I could sell that for $3. Or I could sell two of them for a search token and one of them for a dollar. Um, I can break those up however I want. So perhaps even using the yellow for two water still is going to get me that search token that I want. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to happen until after the scouting phase, so I won't be able to scout this round unless we can figure something out. Now, that said, is there anything good we can figure out? <laughs> so, um, we need one tool and one water. Well, one water is a shame to sell for one gold. That is too bad. What about the possibility of, let's see, what about med, med kits? Maybe it's time to bring in some help. What if we put the doctor here, and then we put the red food, maybe we put the red food right here, 
And then we're going to use a transport token to basically move the, move that one person over to the med kit. So we're just going to have to remember that that's going to turn into a med kit because the doctor is going to spend it. And then we do play our water just so that we make sure that we get the water, right? Because we need to have water at some point to get a search token for us. So deploy volunteers. So you, you can spend these in any orders, right? So we're going to do the yellow guy first, right? This one here, she gets us two water. Then we have the red one spends a token, one token to move one space over, which gets us one med kit. Then the doctor, I'll show you what the doctor says. The doctor says spend one med kit, which we have now, one time to take one person out of your hospital and immediately gain the victory points that, that card is worth. Okay, so that's pretty neat. So we're going to look at our hospital here, and do we take... The leader or the two things. I think I'm actually going to take the guy with the two things right now. We'll get the leader back later. And that got us two victory points. And it's like double victory points because I get to count all these cards at the end of the game that are not in the hospital. Um, and the ones that we have spent. We, we do get to count those again. So that's not so bad. And it's nice having you know bigger resource generation. So... That's it for that. Now, let's move on to objectives. Can we complete any objectives? Well, we see, we could get this person. We could get a water and a tool. But, boy, this is tough. This is a real, real tough choice here. Um, because, well, first of all, we have two yellows, a blue, and a purple. Two yellows, a blue, and a purple. We have completed the middle section of plan A which also rewards us five Hong Kong dollars, right? So suddenly we have $10, which is fantastic. That is good stuff. But looks like we're a long way from, from unlocking this unless I leave these cards here, which is maybe going to hurt us because we have nothing but blue cards in our hand, meaning whatever we roll blue next time better be something good. <laughs> um, we could buy this card still, and gosh, I think... I, I initially didn't want to because I really wanted to get the search token, but I, I now seeing that I have nothing but blues here, we need a little, a little diversity in the group. So I think we're going to take... Oh, I don't have a tool, though. Never mind. I can't do it anyway. Moving on. Scout phase. We don't have anything but one, two, three, four. Oh, I have five. I do have five. We could take one of these. We would lose somebody, and I would hate to lose the guy we just purchased, but I think it's worth the risk. So if we look at this, that says we need to come up with a five search, right? So we have one, two, three, four. So we are going to send in all four of these people, and we have our plus one over here. So we only need five to do the, the small reward of one victory point. Now, I hope I don't lose the guy I just bought. But thanks to him, he's the only reason why I can even do this. So maybe it wasn't all bad. It only cost me a med kit, right? Here goes nothing. Da, 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 da. You go to the hospital. Oh, the guy we just... <laughs> God. Well, there it is. So we do gain a victory point as a reward, so we have three victory points now. And this one is part, you know, A of, of part number one there. That's too bad. I can't believe that happened. Oh, man. Well, what a bummer. Yep, it is what it is. Moving on to new objectives. Do we want to buy anything? Well, yee. We do, because I desperately want some double reds in my group, right? We need as many of these, like, see, we, we have two yellows. We have another two yellow there. We have a two blue here and a two blue there, but we have no two reds yet. Uh, so I guess that's what we're doing. I guess we're just going to have to suck it up and spend four Hong Kong dollars to drop this guy right there. Dang. Okay, so we move on to cleanup phase. So these two waters can be sold for two dollars or... A search token so I'm gonna take a search token right this is gonna give us four per well one permanent plus three temporary plus a card and you always have to commit a card because somebody has to go um, and then then we're gonna burn the rightmost ah oh, there goes another guy another red guy okay at least we got one though I think that was more important long term all right so there we go we are going to ooh man and you're gonna go away real soon here pal all right, so that was cleanup, secure districts. We haven't surrounded an entire district yet, and we have less cards than... We have zero to four cards. We can choose to take our cards back. I think we should just to get the yellow in here. I was I was going to not, but I think we should. We're going to have to hold out on the dream of getting that fourth card slot for probably quite some time now, then. At least three more turns, which is a long time, because this game only has, like, seven or eight turns, it feels like. All right, so check mark actions. We don't have any. We're going to go back to... 
phase one and roll some dice. We have water, books, and gas. Let's see. Books, water, and gasoline. Okay, well, we need food, food, tools, water. <laughs> None of anything that we got is what we really want. So let's do this. Let's have a big, let's have a big, big turn for our searching. Let's do that. Let's try to make the most of a search. So let's do that card there. Uh, yellow. I need yellow and purple. So we'll go to, or, uh, yeah, do that there. We don't have another med kit. We need to probably get some more resources. This is going to give us two. Oh, that'll give us one water. That's no good. Let's go ahead and take another book then. Just so we get some, well, uh, hold on a second here. Maybe we can make, can we make something good here happen? Perhaps we're not in as bad a shape as I thought. If we could get one gasoline is what a red. We don't have a red. We could turn a yellow into a red. Nobody needs books out here. Are you kidding me? Well, purple. That's not a thing either. Let's look at this guy. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to rethink this whole turn all of a sudden. If we take the blue guy who's going to get us two resources, we can use two transport tokens to put him on food. Then... We need one gasoline, which is a red, which we don't have. We could use a yellow to move them over to the gas and use one more transport token to move the, the yellow over to a gas to get us one gas. That'll at least allow us to buy this guy and fill up a red spot, which is up here. And then we'll only need the purple guy. This guy's a purple circle to go right here, so that's not so bad. That's, that's a little bit of future planning. And then we have one spot left over now. That is going to give us... Two food, yellow, uh, one gas. Not enough to do anything else with the cards that I have in my hand other than just gain some resources. So let's just play a single blue to take a book for the future. Okay, so now we're going to deploy these guys. So what's going to happen? So this one blue is going to go to the book. Then this one yellow is going to use a transport to go from the water to the gas. So that guy actually found gasoline for us. And then this guy is going to go two blue cubes, two spaces over, to find two food instead of the gas. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is at any time, you have these anytime actions. You can spend five Hong Kong dollars to trade it in for one battery, or you can lose a victory point at any time to earn yourself a transport token. And as far as I'm aware, that might be the only way to get transport tokens, unless you get them from these. Yeah, you can like trade a gas for two transport tokens if you unlock that. Okay. Which is a whole lot better than losing an entire victory point because the scoring on this game is so tight. Now, we go up to objectives since we, we dealt out our dudes already here. They're already on missions. Let's see here. What do we have now? We do have two food and we do have one gas. It's almost like I planned for it. Look at that. So the red guy is now ours. So we spent those resources. And this guy is now ours. And it says, you know, once we get this guy, take him into your hand and put a cube on a red spot. We're going to go all the way up here to this A. And now we're in a really good spot because all we need is a purple to that A. And that will fulfill this requirement. Or another purple to go up here. And then we have secured that zone, which will gain us one, two, three, four. That will gain us five victory points. So that's an option as well if we pick up another guy that lets us put something on four or another objective here. These are little uh, clipboards with, like, things to do, right? This is the black market. Feed the masses. Clean a fresh water source. Secure the gas station. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here. Thematically, you have to imagine you're sending out search parties to help people, setting up supply lines, trying to help people get back on their feet and navigate this disaster. Okay, so objectives are as done as they can be. We move into scouting. Now, you don't have to commit your entire hand to scouting. We could just do one card. So let's see here. Where do we want to... Or, or at the very least, we should look. Oh, did I forget to even look? Um, we should, at the very least, look somewhere to see what's out there. So let's take a look at a new stack here. That's interesting. Okay, so here's what the new stack has in it. If we do five, that's a battery for us, which is not a bad plan. I say we're game for the battery, right? So the battery is five there, right? So here's what's going to happen. So we're going to spend our three, 
This is a permanent one, so four. Our one guy in the search party is five. So if we pick a card randomly to go to the hospital, there he goes, and now we've earned this. Now this will give us a battery, but it also counts towards how many different ones. This is basically set collection, right? So how many different of these do I have at the end of the game? I now have a victory point and a battery. Right, so that's going to be two, so it's going to get us two points at the end of the game. If I was to perform a successful search here on like this one, which is victory points again, I would be forced to put it face down like this and not score it as part of the set collection at the end of the game. Okay, so we are moving on from scouting to next ob uh, new objective. So, gosh, another yellow, man. Why are there... This is a very yellow-heavy game, and I feel like we... we miss the boat on some of these easy to pick up little like these things first and I went right into some two uh, resource people here which I'm not cycling through as quickly as I want to be um, so I think what we're gonna do is oh no gosh I need them I really need the money though I only have six gold pieces or six gold six Hong Kong dollars and I need ten here but not this upcoming round but I kind of also don't want to spend a ton of money if we buy nothing, we're about to lose two cards on that top row. So it seems like I should buy something. Oh, wow. And we could lose both of these guys. Oh, man. Now, they are quite expensive, and I'm just not cycling through my cards enough to make the resources to get these guys. This one, feed the masses during the waste phase. Two food turns into four victory points. That's better than four gold, right? Because a gold translates five gold to one victory point at the end of the game. So gold is, is not great at the end of the game, but it is something that you definitely want Mid game. So, what do I want here that I could possibly get even close to fairly easily? It might be this fresh, clean water source. So, let's pay four of our gold. Oh boy, we're broke now to take this right here. So, since we did buy a card, we don't have to toss this guy just yet. But when we move to cleanup phase, this guy goes, this guy goes, and this guy goes. All right. So, we're filling up this row here. Good, there's another two. Oh, the politician I love. You just pay a food and you get to put a cube down <laughs> on a wild spot. Any spot you want, it's great. All right, secure districts. We're not quite there yet. Refresh cards. I have four. Oh, do I take back this huge pile of cards? I think I should. I need to get some cards back in my hand. I don't have any check mark actions to do. Let's go back down here and roll some dice. Well, at least we're starting with a wild and a book this time. Neither of which I... Well, I could use a book here, so maybe we can get a gasoline. Two foods and a book. So if you can't... You probably just can't see it. So I got two foods, so these have to be re-rolled. A food and a tool and a book. Here we go. Food, tools, book. Okay. So let's... We definitely want to get... We don't have our this guy, the two guy up there, the two blue. That's a huge bummer. Man. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put the mechanic down here, which means we need to get a tool. Well, you know, maybe we don't have to do that this turn. We could put the mechanic in next turn, and we put the, not the doctor, where is it? The scout in this turn here, because the scout uses a book or a gas to get us a search token. We already have a book, so that's, that's good. I would like to have, gosh... Oh man, we can't we can't really get what I want with the cards that we have. That's such a bummer. All right, this guy would be really handy too for cranking out some cash. Can we crank out some cash? Yes, yes we can. So if we put the purple card over here, the mechanic, we're gonna need a tool to capitalize on that. We're sitting on a tool. We're gonna drop that right there. That's how the setup goes. So now deploy them. So this gets us one tool because it's blue. This is going to get us six gold because we're going to spend this tool. So we're going to take six Hong Kong dollars. And then this one says, at the cost of a book, take a search token and two Hong Kong dollars. So there we go. We are back in the money. We have five, six, seven, we have ten dollars again here. Look at that. Which is great. That's exactly what we want to have going into the next round. That's Fantastic. Okay, yeah, nothing else in my hand gets me any money. Okay, so completing 
objectives with what we have. We did absolutely nothing towards our objectives that time. We, <laughs> we can't do anything. That was just a money round, it looks like. So we're going to move on to scouting. Um, we do have one token and three dudes in here, particularly this guy. I don't think I mind getting rid of, so perhaps we go scouting. We already have four. What else do we need? We need the gas. That is definitely something we have to have. So the gas is six. So we're going to spend... These two dudes, right? These two guys have search tokens. That's two, five, six, right? Three, four, five, six. So that's spent. One of these two is going to the hospital. Like it or not. Oop. Like it or... I don't know who's going to go. I have already forgotten their order, which is good. And it kind of doesn't matter to me. They're both ones. Let's thin this deck. The blue guy. Watch us be like in a deficit of blues now. Yep. <laughs> a bunch of reds. Oh, I should have done the two red guys. How stupid. I didn't even look at my hand ahead of time. Let's do that. Let's say that we sent these two red guys just to make... Now that I look at my actual hand and use apply some brain to it, let's do that. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so now what did we get? We got the gas token. So the reason why we wanted to do the gas token is because that's part of emergency plan A. And it gets us two gas cans. So there we go. Right now, that also gives us a third type of search token, meaning at the end of the game, now we're going to get three victory points because we have those three of the seven different types of them. So we move on to new objectives. What do we want to buy? <sighs> we need to get this guy on the board somehow. That is for sure. And I just don't want to spend the 10 money I have. Well, we're going to... Oh, no, that's going to be later. Okay, so it's going to happen. I'm not going to buy any cards, which means because we're playing solo, we have to trash this card. Bring the tools to the farmer. And I'm full anyway, come to think of it. I can't even buy a card. So that one's gone. We move on to cleanup phase. Food and water, no. Trash the right-hand card of everything. So that's going to be another costly round. That's going to be six more cards coming out. All right. Oh, look at this guy. Look at that mechanic. He's 10 gold pieces you can make. Whew, he's expensive to buy, though, and only worth three victory points at the end of the game. Okay, so cleanup is done. Secure districts, no, we have not completed that. Taking cards back, we have only four cards in our hands. I am not going to take cards back because I want this row to be as it is. Okay, so... Did I... Did I forget to do this guy that whole time? I was supposed to spend the battery, right? On the two gold and the search token, <laughs> right? That's why I have these reminder tokens here, so I don't forget to do them. I got all wrapped up in getting the money. I forgot all about the search token for the next time. All right, so now we are done. We're going to go back here. We're going to re-roll, and we're getting really low on cards here in the market. Boy, really low. Okay, so we got three, food and water and books. All right, food and water and books. There we go. So that's what we have. Four cards here to spend. We really need to get... Th th there's no question that the, that the doctor goes here. That has to happen. I have to put the doctor here because that gives me two yellows and two purples. That's the requirement for this along with 10 Hong Kong dollars. So that must be done. Then we need... Oh boy, we can't quite get there. Well, I think we're going to do it anyway. So the two reds are going to get us two food. Oh, we can't. No, we just can't quite get there, can we? Okay, well, that's a bummer. So we have... Well, then getting two food isn't going to do us any good if I can't complete this guy. One food is only going to be two... Two Hong Kong dollars later. I guess so. I guess so. And then, like, yeah, burning the wall. Oh, wow, we're going to have three. Well, maybe we need to make the money. Let's make the money this round. Okay, let's deploy these people. So the two red ones are going to be food. This red one is going to be food. This one we can't use, but it doesn't... Oh, you know what? Yeah, you can. How about not food? We'll spend the transport token to do a med kit for this red. That way she has a med kit, and I don't have too much food to waste. So now her med kit is going to be spent on rescuing somebody from the hospital. And boy, howdy, do I want this guy back. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to take that guy back and score two victory points, so we're up to five. All right, yeah, that was better. I think that worked out better. Moving on to objectives. We have two food, which is great for that guy, but we don't have two med kits. I just, I just can't quite get there. 
So, but that's okay, because we're about to be broke anyway. Now, on top of that, we have to deal with um, this thing here saying that, no, this one here. It's going to cost us 10 Hong Kong dollars. So there's three, four, five, and five. And it says, right, 10 gold and two purples and two yellow cards. Now we've unlocked the fourth slot, which is a good, good, good thing, I think, for us. Now we move on to the scouting phase. We have four... I'm going to say only five points because I'm not risking this guy again. So with five points, what do we scout for? Gosh, we could really do this. We could really do this. So let's 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 do this one. That's a book, right? So we have to do three, four, five points. So there we go. This guy's out. This guy's in the hospital. We now got two books and two books right there. And we also now have four of these, which is now going to give us five points at the end of the game. Let me tell you, it is a lot harder than I thought it would be to, like, vocalize through a euro. <laughs> because there's not some, I'm not rolling dice to see if I'm slicing a dragon's toenail off or whatever. You know, it's, like, way less exciting. But it's a lot of fun to play, right? Let me tell you that. Uh, new objectives. So we can purchase cards with our $2. We can buy, oh, no, we can't. We're full up. I didn't think too far ahead, so the politician goes. And then, of course, three cards come out right away. And then, of course, in the cleanup phase, we're going to, you know, lose those right away. So, oh, you know what I didn't do? I forgot I had is the gasoline. So we also completed that, which also gives us gives us five gold. I forget, five Hong Kong dollars. We did that one, too. Okay, so all we have left is to do a purple to get there. And then we have A to A. And then it's all about cranking out points to make sure that we hit 75 points somehow. And I have five points. This is horrible horrendous at the moment. Um, oh, this gave us 10 points. We have 15. I'm sorry. I was going to say, wait a minute, I'm forgetting the big pointers over here. Okay. <laughs> I knew that was that was uh, missing. So uh, cleanup. We're going to lose all of these. One, two, and three. Cleaning these up. Securing districts. We still don't have any. What we need is two purples now. We do. These are both. These. This is a wild. That's a purple. That's a yellow. So no, nothing is secured yet. And we move on to refresh hands. So now we can take this middle stack that we took last time, which is great because that means the doctor we just played, we just got back, and the scout can get us some more search tokens, right? That's, that's great. And we have our fourth spot open now. You can shift these around. Just don't mix the cards up. Okay, well, back to the top of the round here. Look at this. We have all these unused things. Oh, right. Clean up. This, these were sold for four gold. See what happens when I start talking? I forget to do things, even when it's laid out right there for me. Somehow we came out with more money than we started with. <laughs> all right. And two foods again and a water. What do we got here? Two, two waters now. So these have to be re-rolled. Uh, there we go. Food, water, and medicine. There we go. Is that any better? Yes, it is. Now we got a new goal here. See if we can get this guy on the board. Okay, or in our hand, rather. Let's see here. Let's. What do we need? We definitely need two water. Do we have two water? Of course we do not have two water. So we got to make this happen somehow. So we're going to play... Um, looks like I want... I don't have a red. So I'm going to play the yellow... I guess, oh, that's a bummer. It's not going to matter. I'm going to play the yellow here to get us two water for this... Oh, no, that's too food. <sighs> what about two gas? If I play that there, I need two gas. I need to buy, for one victory point, a transport token. We have two gas and two books already, so we can complete that. So maybe we're not going to get this guy out this round, right? We have two blues... That'll go ahead and get us two med kits for next time. Hopefully we can get some food. We have one water is kind of useless. Now, we could we could force a lot of this stuff if we had to. But is there something better we can do with what we have? We don't have the greatest cards in our hand. I really don't want to start burning victory points just for the, na the sake of getting getting what I, I want. This is going to be about useless, I think. Well, we could pull somebody back and gamble on a doctor and then gamble on next turn's roll. Yeah, that's probably not so bad. Let's actually put the doctor over here and then we'll throw the yellow down over here and think about what we want to take with it. Let's take... We have two gas cans and two books, so this is gone, right? We're going to get two... Oh, that was the idea behind that. We have all that. 
Do we get two? Gosh, I don't even know what to do now. Maybe this is not the best plan at all. Well, we get two food. Maybe we get two med kits with it just so that we have them, right? Since we don't have any now. No, that's going to get us two med kits. What, we, we're, what we're not going to have is two food. Maybe we can do it all. Let's do it all. Let's use, let's use, hold on. Let's use this guy. One, two, three. God, that does, that's horrible. One, two more. That'll get us the two food, because I don't have a red card in here. I do not have a, that'll get us the two food, as far away as humanly possible. That'll get us the two med kits so we can get this guy out. That still needs a med kit if we can make it happen. But it's just kind of not worth it then, right? If I'm not going to just have a spare med kit, because we want it, we, we want to get this guy into our hands because that's a very valuable card for us. Playing two cards in a round is just horrible. That tells me I messed up somewhere, right? Last round, I did not think through what I was going to take. We do know we're going to take our hand back, so at least playing the scout here is going to get us two gold. Unless we play that, and we're going to spend one more. We just spent, like, four victory points. Okay, yep, I like it. This is what's going to happen. So this yellow is going to transport over here and get us another gas can. It costs us a victory point, but that's okay. This two blues is going to get us two med kits. This yellow has cost us three victory points, but gets us two food. Yikes. I sure hope that's worth it. Um, and then this here says that we can spend one gas can to gain one surge token and two Hong Kong dollars. Okay. Oop, that was three. Okay. So, yeah, that was messy and ugly, but I think it's going to work out for us. I think so. So here we go. We need... To do objectives. So we have two food and two med kits, which we have now. So there's that. So we now we have this guy in our hand, and he is complete a purple, which we're gonna put right there, which completes A, which means we can put a cube here on A, which gets us five dollars. Now remember, money is not worth it at the end of the game. It's worth one victory point per dollar. So we can put a kibosh on getting the money now, right? We are done. Then we have one book and one gas can to complete that. And then we have one book and one gas can to complete that. Now, what's great about this is we look at this, and this says these were that was complete, we get a victory point. That was complete, we get a victory point. If we did both, we get plus four. Cool. So we just got six victory points, right? So we're going to go from 11 to 17. Then we also get to do that, which is place a cube on a wild card spot. I'm going to put it up on that purple up there. Then, oh boy, we could go here and try to go big too. But I'm not going to do that. Then we also get to keep this as a checkmark action to gain a, a fresh water. So I'm just going to tuck this here. In the second edition, they're across the top, which I like much better, but that's okay. So there's that. All right. Messy, ugly, but I think it worked out for us. We go on to the scouting phase, and again, we have a little scout token here. So... It's time we investigate some new areas. Now, we're about, we're about to lose... Actually, we should look here. We're about to lose this place. So let's just take a quick look and see what was there. So there's books. There's that. All right, and we have essentially... I'm not going to lose this guy, and I can't use a doctor. I can't even search if I wanted to. I just wanted to see what was there. That was actually stupid then, now that I think about it, because we're about to lose it when you put a factory on it, right? A house, right? Which is what we're about to do because we've secured that district. I should have searched, you know, here so it was something I could buy later. I didn't realize I had such poor cards. So we got to buy stuff now. We don't have to, but we should. We don't need the money man. Um, there's another politician. And I really like the idea of the politician. So let's pay three gold to take this politician. And then, gosh... You know, I feel like we should pay three more gold for this guy up here. I just need to get some more resources going. Okay, so there's that. We're going to move to the cleanup phase and dump any water or food we have. None. Then we wipe out the rightmost card in every row. Uh-oh. We're not going to have time. Yeah, we're not going to have time to do this because we're getting down there on cards now. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Ooh, we have three cards left. So that, that tells us when the end of the game is going to trigger here. So... We know it's coming close. All right, secure districts. We can secure that district up top. So that's fantastic news. What can we do with this knowledge? 
We can't. So some games I play of this, I'm running a s massive surplus in resources. I played this a couple of days ago to try to bone up for this when I was dying. And I think I had at one point seven books and literally nothing I could spend them on. And that's where these come in really handy. Now, I don't have anything excess except for maybe money. So this one is convert $4 into two victory points as opposed to $5 into one victory point. So we're going to put that there. That place is now secured, and now we have this checkmark action. We move up to, to phase eight. I only have two cards, so we're going to take our biggest pile back, and we can do our checkmark actions now. This one says gain water. This one says convert $4 into two victory points. So there's five gold. We'll take one back and gain two points. We're at 19 victory points now. Oof. This is going to be not good unless we figure out what a good way to make some points real fast. Because this is, this is oh, and we got five points for this, right? One, two, three, four. So during secure districts, we're supposed to score that as well. So that was four. So that's five more points. So we're at 24. Okay. Now, oh, man, I would really love to, to, to finish off these, right? I've got the purple and the blue. So maybe we can work towards that. Maybe we can work towards that. Like, insanely fast here right that's that's because that's that's huge points like even spending four points to make that happen is not so bad all right so let's go down here we're gonna roll some dice man our poor leader is stuck in the hospital this whole game how sad for her okay so med kit food and gas all right what do we have here that we can make use of let me take a look at the hospital and just see who's in here yeah, our leader now is the best person to be in here. We've gotten rid of a lot of our starting cards. So the, the leader would be pretty great to have. Um, remember, we can buy a wild card if we want to still, which we might end up doing here at some point. I really want this guy in play because it's going to get us big, big resources. Of course, these guys don't require the same thing. <laughs> so, oh, that's a bummer. Let's see here now, and we never got that unlocked, which I really want. Do we have two blues? No, we're not even going to have that many rounds to make that happen anymore. I need two reds and two blues in one group to gain 10 points, and that, see, that's that was the plan, and that's not going to happen now. So that's kind of a bummer. So, modifying our plan. Let's try to get the politician out. I think that's going to be our best bet for immediate success. So... Let's take, we need two water, so we already have one. Of course, nobody's on water this turn, so we could buy a ton of water if we needed to, which is not a horrible idea. So we're going to throw this guy down, then if that handle, oh, we don't have anybody on tools either, so let's take, uh, let's take you for tools. So we're going to have to do some moving around, right? So it's minus one victory point to put this red on tools. And then that's going to get this guy on the board for us. That'll get this person the yeah, one of the two tools they need. That's a bummer. And I don't have a med kit. Do I have a blue here? I do. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and do a blue double med kit and a, oh, no, and the doctor. Two purpose. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And the doctor. Okay. So I think that's our plan going forward here. So let's let's do this now. So this says for the cost of three Hong Kong dollars, I can take three of any one resource. It's not a battery. So let's take the um what was I gonna take? The water? Was I gonna take the water? Yeah, that because it's gonna, yeah, that'll work out for search tokens and stuff too. Okay, so that guy's done. Then these two reds were gonna become tools for us. So there's that. Then the two blues are going to become med kits for us. So there's that. And the doctor is going to spend a med kit to get our leader out, which is going to get us three victory points. One, two, three. So we're up to 26. Yeah, we're, we're in the crunch now. Okay, objective fulfilling. What can we do? We need to get this guy out. Two water and two tools is the politician into our hands, which is good. And when we take – oops, I lost it. What did I just do with it? There it is. So the politician is a purple. Right, so we're going to put this on a purple. We're going to put that. Ooh, we could go right here and complete that three for three points, but I think we risk it. I think we push it real hard and try to complete this, right? The the, the seven spot. Ah, I can't pick these cards up today. I, I say we try to complete this because that's seven and that's 14 victory points. And we're, we're not looking so hot at 26 points. 
Okay, so yeah, I think we're good there. What else can we accomplish? We have no books, we have some water, we're short a tool, we're done. We move on to the scouting phase here. So we have three, four, I could easily drop a five. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's drop a five, a scouting token, and one. So that's four, five. We search in this area here and take four coins. And the reason why I think that's okay is because we can turn that into victory points. And we don't have another coin. So that'll gain us four gold. One, two, three, four. All right. Moving on to new objectives. Do we want to buy anybody? Perhaps. <sighs> Perhaps we do. We have a blue already for here. The politician should be able to take care of one other one. But in the event it all falls through, this guy requires us two reds and a blue to buy. Oh, so we wouldn't be able to buy that guy until next round? It's, it's going to be expensive, but it's still our best bet, I think, right? It's going to cost us four gold, four things. Whoops to buy that guy, but it's something else to do. So we go to cleanup phase. These two waters can turn into a search token. Notice I like these search tokens. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, food and water go bye-bye, and then we get rid of these. Now, what you're witnessing is awful. These three cards are the last three that come out, right? One, two, and three. And then the rules say we've triggered end game, which means this round finishes out and one more round to play. So, um, we go to secure districts. We didn't secure anything else. And then we go up to drawing our hand back. I only have three, so we can take all of these. And then we can do our check mark actions. This is take a water. And this, it says clean a fresh water source. And then this is spend four for two. Ooh, I have five dollars. So we'll take one and gain two victory points. See, this is why these are good in the very, very beginning. And I kind of ignored them and went straight for resources. So this is gonna be a this is gonna be a close call here. Um, I've also not done a good job of paying attention to my high value cards. Like that's five victory points at the end of the game, right? You you want your low Bs up in here. These are all ones. I don't care that they're in the hospital. Because you won't score those and you won't score these. You'll just score these and these and these. And now we have three, four, five. So that's seven more victory points right here. And we could potentially squeeze out one more, right? If we go searching for, for whatever and have somebody to dump. So I need to remember to hang on to these two ones <laughs> to get lost in the search uh, party. Okay, so we're going to go back here, roll some dice. Well, we do have our doctor back. I mean, it's not the end of the world to take one... Oh, two waters to take one guy out of the hospital. Uh, two tools. I don't even know what I want. I want... Oh, we can't get this guy. I looked right at him, and I didn't realize that was the two reds in the... Oh, I could put a red. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't. I messed that up, too. There we go. So food, water, and gas. Food, water, gas. There we go. Not in that order. All right. Let's see. Ooh, I have a lot. Ooh, it's all specialists here. Oh, boy. Well, knowing that... We really only have one shot at it then, so we need to make sure that that happens no matter what. So we have to have a book and we have to have a gas. Period. End of story. And there is no combination I can put out that's going to let me get this guy, and this one's not worth it now because it's not purple. Because I'd love a purple up here too. Not worth it. Okay. So we absolutely have to do everything that we can in our power to get make that happen. Now. We don't even have any of our double resource. Oh, they're all booked up. See, this was the. This is what I love about this game. If you're doing well, like you're not talking to a camera the whole time, you're paying attention to when your double resources or triple resources are coming back into your hand. I did not do that. I only have two resource cards here, right? So there's three things that we need to make happen to make this worth it at all. Number one, I need a food. Number two, I need a gas. And number three, I need a book. You see the problem here? <laughs> okay. So this will get me the gas. This will get me a book. All right? We'll pay one victory point to move this over to a book. Then I need a food somehow. So we have to play the leader. Wow, thank goodness I got that. And then we have to play that because that food will become a battery. There is no question that that is the only valid move that we can possibly make this turn. So red is going to get us the gas. Yellow is going to become, what did I say, a book? What did I say? Yellow needs to be... Red was a gas. 
Oh, we have. Oh, yeah, a book. Right, a book. Not water. We have this water sitting here. It's throwing me. So the yellow became uh, water. I mean, a book. The leader says that we can gain. Oh, that's cute. The leader says that we can gain uh, one battery. That's how we're getting out of this jam right here, right? And then activate one check mark now. I don't have four gold, but guess what? A free water is fantastic in this phase. I, oh no, we're not gonna we're gonna scout before. That's a bummer. Okay, then uh, the politician says we need to spend a here. Let me pull this up because this is super cool. A food, right? A food to place a cube. So we're gonna say the battery is a food. So we're gonna place a cube on this purple right here. Okay, so the politician doing what politicians do, spreading their influence. Now, um, they're all deployed. We go to objectives. This guy is a book and a gas. And he is a blue. So, and three victory points. But he's a blue. So, we're going to go ahead and put a cube on blue. Yes! That's actually a big deal. Okay. I think that's all we can do. We have two water and a med kit, and I didn't get to put the doctor because of the way the chips fell, so because of poor planning, really. So we move on to the scouting phase here now. So we have four... Oh, that guy's worth three victory points. So is it worth it? Two and one. What is out here that's worth it victory point-wise? If I'm going to be minus a victory point at the end of the game, is there something... I mean, this is just straight one point, and I already have it. So the best thing, three, four, five, would be to find something I don't have. I have money, I have a victory point, I have a victory point. So our ooh, so we're just we're gonna go in blind now because I, I probably was terrible at searching. We're gonna go in blind and just look. I have books, I don't have tools, and I do have victory points. Okay, so these were the three. So if we look at this, and we look at the tool one, the tool one says I need eight points. So we have four. We could go five, six, seven. I can't even do it. I can't even do it. So, and then the other ones aren't really worth it. If I do the book one, it gets me an extra search point, which isn't worth it. So none of these are actually worth the thing. If I do the six, that's three, four, I would have to burn... I would have to basically risk two victory points to gain two victory points. It's not worth it. So we're just going to do nothing for the search. That's a bummer because that could have turned out really good if we found something handy there so it's not even worth us searching this time okay so we're going to go to new objectives i'm not going to buy anything because it's not it doesn't matter clean up these two become what two gold or a search token which again does no good because it's the end of the game secure districts yay we did secure districts um we did yeah, our two water, if we sell it for two gold, still doesn't get us anywhere. I'm just looking at other things that we can do here. Um, yeah, that's a bummer. Okay, so let's go to uh, secure districts. We secured this one now, the big one in the middle here. It kind of doesn't matter. I don't really have... Yeah, I don't really have anything I can do anything with at this stage of the game, so it doesn't matter. We secured that, but the good news is that's a big 7, so that's 14 points. So we are at 41, much better now. Um, and then we go to the final phase here. We're going to refresh our hand, right? We only have four cards. Boy, we lucked out. We didn't need that either. And then we can do a check mark action. We don't have $4. We can gain another water. Now... End of the game is all right here. Every cube you still have becomes a dollar. So these two cubes become two dollars. Every five you have becomes a victory point. There's five. So we got one more. We're at 42, baby. <laughs> okay. And we have to get to 75 because we already did the objectives. All right. So now this says hands plus the set collection. So we have three, four, five here. They're all different types. So five of those is another seven points. So one, two, 49 so we need 26 points in these cards. That's going to be a tall, tall ask. So here's 5, 10. We have a 1 there. So that puts us at 60. Now we need 15 points. There's 5. That puts us at 65. Oh, boy. Here's 4, 5 more. That puts us at 70. 2, 4, 6 is 6 points. We're at 76. And then, oh, look at that, and 3 points. 79 points and if you remember the objective was 75 points or more so we barely made and all of emergency plan a which we have as well Whew. 
I mean, th the game is, is a lot more intense when you're playing and not having to talk. I'm sorry. I'm sure it's boring to listen to, too, but I haven't been able to get a video out this week. I've just been so sick. And then next week, I'm leaving town. So um, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time on my hands. We're leaving town the back half of next week. So did what I can. This is what I wanted to play. Just, just a Euro, just points-driven. So... Is this a game that I recommend for people? I have to say, when you're playing multiplayer, if everybody is is as, as equally invested in it, it's actually a ton of fun. The problem is, is you have to get people to understand how it works, that they have to move through their objectives, they're not going to have their whole hand in their hand all the time, you have to plan for what cards are coming back to your hand. Obviously, you saw I was terrible at that, but, you know, at the end of the day, we won, we got through it somehow, with maybe a, a mistake or two here and there, I had, to, I had to retcon some things and fix some stuff, but not too bad. Uh, the rules, it's not that bad the rules are not super dense the manual is not that long either it's only maybe 15 pages or so and it's not all rules a lot of it is just set up right so yeah rules stop on page 14 but other than you know once you get past setup and components the rules don't start until page 8 anyway i mean it's pretty straightforward right the game just has it all right here on the board for you. It's pretty fantastic. Can you buy this game? I hope so. Will this game ever get reprinted? Obviously, I don't know, but if I had a Magic 8 Ball, I'd say no. Um, it just didn't sell very well. There was that whole snafu with the... Uh, uh, with the second edition, you know, coming with misprinted cards and the first edition having a theme, you know, or, or a graphic style nobody, you know, nobody liked. I vastly prefer it, but here we are. Um, is it a fun solo game? So here's the thing. There is no just solo mode. If you look at the setup again, number six, objective cards, how to set up the deck for solo play, two, three, and four players. Nothing about um, playing by yourself. The only solo it really has is this Again, campaign of sorts where it gives you some little mission. So, uh, you know, here's mission two. Again, it's the same idea, right? Like, it, it, did they have stories? Yeah, people gather on the streets, and there is, as there is still no electric power in Hong Kong anymore, it becomes increasingly difficult to live as usual, right? Scenario two, you must secure a large food convoy, send, send along the route of crisis centers B and C. So all that really means, though, is that you are using... A di you're using emergency plan B and C, and you'll notice this one says go B to B or C to C. And in single player, you're only using one of the two. So even the text doesn't quite line up with what it says. Uh, it's just it's just not wonderful, but it's fun to put yourself through these little scenarios, right? And you'll see this is a short one. It says single player up there, one player, take 48 cards out of the 72 card deck and somehow earn 50 points and have a cube on at least two of the, of the emergency emergency plan B, right? So at least you don't have to make the route. You know, you could just have the cards laid out, which is pretty easy. And if you got lucky searching, that's fine. Or I mean, the route's probably not so bad, right? Uh, where's B to B? B right here and B right there, right? That's one, two, three, four, five. That one, two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe they're all five away, right? Where's C? C is one, two, three away. <laughs> That's not so bad at all. Scenario three, the situation gets dire in the central district. Crowds gather and try to find a scapegoat. Uh, what are we doing here? This is 33 cards, so it's about as long as this. One to two player, use emergency plan B. Have a cube on at least two goals of the emergency plan. Okay. Oh, this is the... Right, this one's famous. This one's all over the internet. Okay. All over the Board Game Geek forums, anyway. Have at least four cubes on locations that are adjacent to the district shown on the right. Okay. We literally just did that, right? We have seven cubes on this district. They use the word adjacent, so people think it's like this one and this one. It's not. It's... A, it's this track here. Have at least four cubes right there. We just did that. Scenario four. Hour 96. Our volunteer force is suffering from famine and injuries. We need to recruit new helpers. So it's a little bit different. Emergency plan C this time. Have two cubes on it. Have at least four cubes on red locations. That's the hard part of this one, I've, I've been told. And 80 points or better. And then scenario five is end of week one. And there is no more. That's it. It's end of story, right? Um, that's emergency plan D. Have a cube on at least two goals of the emergency plan. Have completed both restore power goals on your player board and 125 points or better. The restore power goals are these things. So that's the one that we unlocked to give us four uh, plays. And this one allows us to take our cards back when we have zero to six cards in our hand as opposed to zero to four. So it's a little bit... A little bit more difficult. I'm, I'm, I'm not that good of a player. I don't play it nearly enough, but I find it very fun. Solo game, That's is it great? I whip it out when I'm not talking in front of the camera in like 30 minutes, like this scenario here. And this scenario by itself is just fun to play just by itself, just to see how many points you can get. Could you look at that chart 
right there where it says objective cards number six and come up with a number that you're comfortable with to play a solo game just to beat your own score. As long as you stuck to that same number, let's just say it's 33 cards every time. Why not? If you're playing against minus 33 cards and just scoring as a single player game, fine. The things that you would have to remember to do in addition though will be to discard a card here um, and then you know, however you want to handle the emergency plans because normally you would gain this as a card, as a check mark action, um, and then, you know, I, I would I would do it. I would say deal yourself one of the four, A, B, C, or D, and then play it like a regular multiplayer game and gain the reward for completing it as you normally would. I would say that's what I would be doing as a solo game. If you got super into the mechanics of it and everything like that, I think that's probably how I'm going to enjoy this game the most going forward because the scenarios are just, can you do this thing? I'm not a big fan of beat your own score type games though, but I pull this out so infrequently that that kind of seems like just maybe a fun thing to kind of keep track of. Maybe I'll have a score sheet for myself. I'll throw in the box and keep track of it. But it's a lot of fun. It, I, I really feel like this game is 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 a lot better than it, it it deserved its reputation. Just it got slaughtered, I think, a lot because of the the theme of it, like the, the and like the art style they chose and everything. But it's a ton of fun. Very straightforward. Very thinky decisions, and and it plays differently when you're just being quiet and thinking through your choices instead of trying to talk them out loud and making way suboptimal choices. <laughs> but we still barely passed. So here we are, Blackout Hong Kong. This is by Alexander Fister, and it is a fantastic. Fantastic game. It's a ton of fun. I think it kind of got the short end of the stick as things go, but that's all right. He's got other great games like Great Western Trail. Um, I've never played it, but I hear oh, Port Royale is really good. And then, of course, uh, Mombasa I hear is good. I've never played that, but I did buy Sky Mines recently. Um, and then uh, Maracaibo, I think, is a blast. So uh, Maracaibo it, doing so much more, right? Like this game... One last thing. One of the things Alexander Fisher has been doing is kind of throwing a little bit of story into these Euro games, which you see here, maybe it's not working well. Maybe it's not appealing. It's not the best thing ever, right? But in a game like Maracaibo, it's a completely different story. I've played Maracaibo probably 15 times, 12 to 15 times probably. There's a stack of like 100 cards I've never seen, right? Because I've never played through the campaign. All of them have setup changes, story changes, like a whole storyline. All kinds of things can happen. And the coolest thing, and I can't wait to dive into this, is that there are, there's a bag of tie, well, they're not in a bag, I mean, they're in a punch board, but once you punch them out, you can put them in a bag, mine are in a bag, uh, there's a whole bunch of tiles that are called legacy tiles, right? So as you're playing through the campaign, you might lose access to this port that's over here. You might lose access to this, you know, or, or, or something new might appear in the travel track on the land part of the bottom of Maracaibo. And then the whole story evolves like a legacy game without you having to permanently change anything because they're just tiles that you set over parts of the board that change parts of the board. It's really cool. So maybe we'll get Maracaibo up here, uh, you know, for a couple of days. Um, not anytime real soon, though. Um, but 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 um, it's definitely something I'm interested, interested in checking out. I do not have the expansion for it. And that's another one I'm not so sure it's going to get reprinted. They printed out the... Uh, it's called The Uprising. It's the expansion for Maracaibo. And it was... The, the, there were some misprints on it, not like bad cards, but like the player boards don't line up right and things are shifted. The art looks kind of ugly. And so I think a lot of people waited to see if they would do a second print and they haven't. They're still trying to sell through the first print, but a lot of people didn't want to buy it because it's you know ugly. It didn't line up right. Well, if it's not going to sell, it's not going to get a reprint. So it's one of the things I've been like, yeah, I should probably pick this up next time I, I, I'm thinking about picking something up is the you know Maracaibo ex uh, expansion, the Uprising, because I really enjoy playing Maracaibo. That is a fun game, but there's a lot of there's a ton of fun games I, I can't wait to bring out here. This one I don't think I, I don't think we're going to be doing a whole thing on you know like like all five scenarios. I just wanted to bring it out just for awareness, just to see that hey, this game is actually a lot of fun, can be played solo, and you know I think I paid thirty dollars for it. And I remember seeing it being clearanced for $20. You know, that was some time ago, though, now. It was probably like two years ago. But it's a lot of fun. Four-player game. It's a blast if everybody knows how to play and is, you know, thinking very strategically. So that's Blackout Hong Kong. And before we go, remember, games are made for everyone's recreation. <laughs> we'll see you later.